Hey everybody, today we're going to build on top of our Debian 12.2 base and we're going to get Dock Starter installed, which is an easy way to install Docker. Let's get started. Let's start off by taking a quick look at the Dock Starter website. You can find it at DockStarter.com. I will have this link down in the notes. And we're going to go to getting started. And since we are running a Debian server, we're going to follow the commands right here. Let's head over to the terminal and get started. All right, so we need to connect to our server that we set up in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, it will be linked in the corner. So we are going to ssh doc user at 172.16.74.151. And we're in. Now, by default, Debian does not have sudo installed, unlike Ubuntu server. So we need to switch user to root. All right. I am root. Anytime you see in the instructions over here where it says to use sudo, you could just ignore that. And in fact, you could ignore the hyphen git as well. So we're going to say apt install curl and get all right we'll clear the screen control l we switch back to our normal user and we're going to run the installer for doc starter our command is going to be bash dash c quote dollar sign left front c curl dash fs capital sl https colon double slash get dot doc starter dot com and parenthesis and quote all right to avoid some problems later on we are going to add sudo to the system change to root user and we are going to say apt install sudo dash y. Uh, we should be able to do user mod dash a g sudo doc user. We are in fact a member of the sudo group. So Okay, it appears that we are getting through the problem. So, you have to have sudo installed on the Debian system. Add your normal user to the sudo group. And then this will run splendidly. Alright, and now it's saying that we need to reboot the system. We'll come back over here to our Proxmox and we'll watch it boot back up. And we're ready there. Clear our screen and reconnect. All right, so Doc Starter is installed, and all we need to do is run the DS command. And we are starting the configuration. So we start right at the top, configuration, hit enter. We've got some options here, but we are going to keep things simple to start. And we're going to do full setup on the top and just hit enter. And now we have a bunch of options that we can semi automatically start up for Docker containers. As you can see, this list is fairly extensive. So we're gonna keep things rather simple, as I, as I said, but we are going to come down and we'll select pie hole. And then of course, the other thing that Doc Starter automatically has selected for you is Watchtower. 
And this is going to help keep your Docker containers up to date, which especially if you're getting started with Docker for the first time, this is extremely helpful. So with just those two containers selected, we'll hit tab to OK and enter. Before it goes through the complete installation, it gives you the opportunity to accept the defaults or change them as you go through. So we're going to use the right arrow key and go to no so that we can change these. And I'm going to take a few notes while we're going through this. Network mode, we're going to keep current. Just hit enter. And pihole port is 443. Pihole port 443, so secure, is going to be on port 446, which is a good thing to make a note of. And so we hit enter. Pihole port 53 is fine. Hit enter. Pihole port 67 is fine. We'll take the default. And port 80 is set to 8008. And for something like Pihole, we want it to restart unless we have specifically stopped it for a reason, such as for maintenance. So we are just going to accept that default and for the server IP we're going to have it listing on all ports pihole tag latest is fine and we are going to enter a new password and we're going to set that to ABCD1234 as our default for watchtower I normally just accept their defaults and for the VPN, we'll accept those defaults. We're actually going to change that because the time zone is wrong. Configuration directory, that's fine. Permissions, that's fine. Storage is fine. Yes, we're going to create it. And that's just a status message created successfully. Docker host name, we're just going to leave that as doc starter. And the group IDs, it's fine. And the user ID is fine. And we are going to use the system time zone. And run compose now. Yes. And so as you can see, it's pulling down Watchtower and Pihole. And when those are complete, it will run them. And then when this finishes, we'll clear the screen and we'll say Docker PS, which will list the running containers. And so this is a very basic setup of DocStarter. One thing we did not do during the doc starter setup is we didn't run or install portainer and as some of you may be aware portainer is a web-based graphical interface for docker there are others like yacht and whatnot out there but Portainer is the one that I'm most familiar with. So we'll rerun doc starter with the DS command. And we're going to select apps. And we'll come down here to Portainer. Hit the space bar to add the asterisk. Tab to OK. And enter. All right. Would you like to run Compose now? Yes. And it's pulling down the information it needs for Portainer. And that is now up and running. And we can verify Portainer is running by saying Docker space PS. And as you can see, Portainer is up here on the top. And we're looking at port 9000. So if we switch back over to our browser, 
and we can do our 151 yes colon 9000 and we're going to get portainer and we're going to call the admin user doc user and we're going to set it to our password and create our user and we've got portainer set up we're not going to go too deep into this right now but for environments we can just click primary and if we look at containers we can see our three containers that are running and in the next video we'll dive a little bit deeper into portainer and we will instead of using the command line or the doc starter interface to add another container we'll use portainer and that's going to bring us to the end of another video please hit the like and subscribe buttons on the way out and i will see you next time have a great day